What's happening, financial coaches? It's Pete here. Hey, I want to talk to you about something that I call hustle then declare. And this is probably going to be a little painful because I'll probably go into more detail than you want on it. But what inspired me to talk about this, and it's something I've done for years, but I just saw um, someone I know actually post something using Instagram. And she said, hey, these are the books I want to read this year. And then had the cover art for each of the books. Who's going to keep me accountable? And I thought that this is kind of a classic example of the people that talk about things and then don't do them. And it's one of the things that I struggle with as, as a financial coach. And I realized after listening to a bunch of other materials on it and things like this, that basically what I think we're told in conventional wisdom is tell people what you're going to do. That helps you stay accountable to people. It starts um, making it real in your own mind. And I think a lot of people think, and the problem with this is I think a lot of people think that saying something out loud, saying that you're going to do something, committing to it out loud, even committing to it with fervor, saying, this year I'm going to become a millionaire. This year I'm going to start my own business. This year I'm going to leave my job. This year I'm getting promoted. This year I'm going to be the best dad in the world. This year I'm going to buy my dream car, whatever it might be. Buy my dream hose, house, you know, uh, put away $100,000, pay off my debt, you know, all these things. And people say these things and put it out there and I think what they think is that they have actually done something towards that particular goal and I'm going to talk about this in another video about the myth about writing things down right a lot of people have said hey just by writing stuff down you're more likely to accomplish it and the data suggests very conclusively that that is not the case and I think it's the same thing about saying things out loud now saying things out loud can help but here's my strategy on it for for example I can't remember the gentleman's name now, but he had a large following. He uh, wrote a couple of movies. He was a Hollywood producer, and he said, hey, I wanted to, I want to golf with Jack Nicklaus. Um, you might know him, the Golden Bear, uh, professional golfer, the GOAT in my opinion. But he said that, and it wasn't a podcast, but he said in an interview, millions of people heard it, and uh, through some uh, maneuvering behind the scenes, some of his friends got in touch with other friends, and then eventually they actually got him a round of golf with Jack Nicholas. Now, that works because you have the network, because maybe you have tried to reach out on your own and you have no other recourse. You've reached out to Jack's people and they say, you know, we don't, we don't pair him up with kind of strangers or randos or whatever it might be. And so it was by putting it out there that he was able to do it. Now, I think this is a unique situation in the in a case where this person had the resources. They obviously were very self-motivated, self-driven. They probably did a lot over years to try to play with Jack Nicholas. And now the way they were going to do it is try to use their network. And that's a, certainly a great strategy. But I think most people see something like that and then misinterpret it as, I want to just put it out there in the universe. I just want to say it. I want to share it with other people what I want to do. And then I want them to kind of help give me some ideas, to help guide me, lead me, mentor me, um, help make some of these things a reality because I'm so well liked. Uh, by putting it out there, I am doing the heavy lift. And now all of the little nuanced stuff can be done for me. And the reality is that just doesn't happen. If you want to read 10 books this year, well then just read 10 books this year. Make sure you read that first one by the end of January. Make sure you read the next one by the end of February. You don't even really need someone to be accountable towards to for you on that. And in, in my case on this Instagram post and saying, hey, these are the 10 books I want to read this year. What I would do is I would read the first book and then I would say, hey, just knocked off this book. Here are the other nine that I am going to read this year. Because what I want to do and what I use, my philosophy on this is called hustle, then declare. And it's not declare and then hustle. Hustle first. See if you can do something. And then if you can, if you have the skill set for it, the toolkit for it, whatever it might be, um, then you can tell people that, hey, I'm really going to double down on this. You know, I think about it as like doing YouTube videos. A lot of people are like, I want to start a YouTube channel, but, you know, I want the right camera first. I got to learn how to edit. I'm not sure how to do studio lighting. Just do it. Set up your camera, record a video, post it. If you were part of my uh, marketing sprint class, that was really the whole point of that is to kind of break the ice. Get yourself comfortable in front of the camera, whatever camera you have. I don't care if it's the webcam on your laptop or whatever it is. It is very easy to record yourself, hit the record button, do a talking head video for a minute, 30 seconds, 10 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever it is, and then post it online. And most people will never, ever see it. But at least you're doing it. You're learning how to do it. And then if you do a few of those, you start getting some traction and some views. What you can do is you can go out there and say, to the world to your accountability partners your financial coach hey listen i've done a few videos i'm starting to get a little traction on it i'm uh, i'm liking it it's something that i would actually love to do more of well that's great you've hustled first 
You don't necessarily have to win at it. You don't necessarily have to be successful at it, but you've hustled, you've experimented, you've decided, hey, this is something that I think I can expand, I can exploit, do more of, double down on. And now you're declaring it to the world. You're saying, hey, um, yes, I would like someone to help me be more accountable to doing more of these. I would love to get people's opinions on what content I should be doing or where I need to improve or you know, do I need to get rid of ahs and ums or whatever it might be, right? So hustle then declare, because if you just declare everything, you know, me as a third party, as an observer to you says, I don't know if you can read 10 books in a year. I mean, some people might do that in 10 weeks, but that might be a heavy lift for you, right? But I'm not going to necessarily hold your feet to the fire just because you tell me to. It's going to be awkward for me. I don't really owe you that responsibility as just a friend or an acquaintance, right? Um, you owe it to yourself. And if you want to do it, then tell me that you're doing it. Tell me that you're reading those books. Tell me you love to read. And that, yes, next year when you say I'm going to read these 20 books next year, I bet you're going to do it. And if I know that you have the capability to do it, I'm probably more likely to ask, where are you in those books? Are you only six? It's You're only six out of the 20 and it's halfway through the year? Yeah, yeah maybe you better uh, step it up. But a lot of people will say outrageous things. And this is where smart goals came from, right? That will say, I want to do X. I want to climb the tallest mountain on every continent. Or, you know, I want to buy a jet. I want to live the good, I, you know, I want to star in a blockbuster movie this year, whatever it might be. For some people who are hustling, you know, that might be in Hollywood doing a bunch of smaller B movies that um, maybe need a big break. You know, maybe that's possible. But for someone sitting at their house in the Midwest with no acting ability to say that, you know, I think we just disregard it. And it's very easy for people to declare, to declare, 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 and then not do anything. So what I would say is hustle. And when people tell me that they want to do something really, you know, grandiose, something really impressive, I say, you know, for example, they want to be a scratch golfer, you know, and maybe they're shooting 100 right now. Well, then I said, all right, well, what do you need to do to become that? Oh, you probably need some lessons, tweak the uh, the swing a little bit, get a little bit better on your strike capabilities, whatever it might be. All right, so what are you going to do? Get, get some lessons and see if you can improve. And th then I would say, why don't you do that? Why don't you see if it's a, something that you just have within you physically, if it's something that you can do. You know, it's also probably a time commitment. It's probably gonna be a financial quick uh, commitment to buy the equipment, to be out on the golf course, you know, to take time away from family, all those things. So try it, try it, hustle on it, do as much as you can and see if this is something that is even remotely possible because by putting stuff out there that ends up not being a possibility, you start to burn your own credibility, you start to lose it. Uh, to say, you know, I've had people tell me I, they want to be the next Oprah and all these other things, and yet they've never created any content that anyone else has ever watched. Um, and so, you know, it's one of those things where even I would say, oh, is that even remotely possible? I don't say it quite like that. But, you know, when people say that, hustle first. And if you're finding some success with it, if you're finding that it might be a possibility, then declare it. But hustle first. See if you're capable. See if it's something you want to do. See if you have um, the passion for it, the interest in it, the toolkit for it, right? The tool set and the skill set for it. And then declare it. And then declare it to the world. Let people keep pestering you about it. And that hopefully will be motivation to keep going on. But hustle, then declare. That's why I... That's why I keep that in my toolkit when I'm coaching and uh, kind of needle some people when they give me some really, really big goals just to see if they'll commit to doing something about it first. So that's it. I'll see you later.